Hello and welcome everyone, it is me, Dravao, also known as the Pod Duelist, back for you with another community deck profile. Uh, last week uh, we took a look at something, I guess, a bit more competitive form of Tronic Standards, but this week we are looking at something very fun and casual again. Uh, this list got sent to me by uh, Holy Spirit or Callum, just uh, a man of many names as I've uh, come to know uh, when talking to him about this list. Um, this is essentially a list designed to turbo out any of the forms of Power Tool Dragon here and also shows some very neat uh, extenders for the deck that I really haven't talked about on the channel. So maybe let's uh, get into it. Uh, he even attached a replay afterwards that we can take a look at. Um, so let's maybe talk about this and then look at that. Uh, starting off the main deck fairly, I guess, common for, for the modern day and age of this deck. Uh, three Gadget Gamer and a Gadget Hauler just... A very insane normal summon package that does so much and adds so much to the deck. Um, really incredible stuff. Um, this, I guess, is the weirdest inclusion in this one. Uh, three copies of Scannon. This is a weird one. Cannot be normal summoned or set and has to be special summoned from hand by banishing a Moftronic monster from your hand, which is already a bit yikes. Uh, while in attack position, you can once... Uh, Per turn during your main phase, add Aim of Tronic Spell Trap from your deck to your hand, and then place one card from your hand on top of the deck. Uh, in defense, you can during the main phase add a level 4 Loam of Tronic Monster from Graveyard to hand, and then place one card from your hand on top of your deck. Of course, the, uh, I guess, second part of both of these effects is designed to synergize with Moftronic Cell Phone, uh, but in actuality, all it does is minus you quite a bit, uh, which is why I think you will most likely be just using this for the fact that this is a level 6 tuner, which uh, in combination with uh, Cell Phone enables uh, Power Tool Dragon and Power Tool Mecha Dragon, and in combination with Borden and potentially Gadget Gamer, enables the bravest of boys uh, on that note playing two copies of borden here i guess a searchable level three non-tuner um to kind of supplement gadget gamer and also something like decent to normal summon or set uh two copies of remoten um the Moftronic that still gets you some guaranteed searches and i think uh, remoten is like the tuner after like the obvious ones and smartphone and uh telephone that you probably will not cut uh, anytime soon banishing aim of tronic and being able to add one from deck to hand with the same level is just incredibly powerful and then we get into the infamous font trio we're still playing three copies uh, of smartphone three copies of telephone and three copies of cell phone in this list uh, provided to us by the holy spirit um sounds kind of funny honestly referring to someone like that um but yeah into the spell lineup we go with some fairly standard like power one of so one for one caught by the grave foolish burial and monster reborn just do some absolutely good work for the deck uh playing two triple tactics talent um i don't know if this was inspired by the one i uploaded last week but uh, still really good inclusion helps the deck maybe push through a hand trap or true or two and now we get to the interesting portion. Something I haven't talked about on the channel before is a package of terraforming, three dice dungeon and three dimension dice. A dice dungeon basically is a field spell that on activation adds you a dimension dice from your deck to hand and then it has a start of the battle phase effect that uh, rolls a die and then, you know, does some attack uh, attack uh, attack modulation. Um, probably not the most relevant effect. Um, in most cases, you will be searching dimension dice with this. A normal spell card that if you control a card that has a dice roll effect, allows you to tribute a monster and then special summon a monster from your hand or deck that has an effect which requires a dice roll, which telephone and cell phone all six do. Um, so that is an incredibly powerful extender. Um, that is also basically searchable off of like terraforming. Um, if you want to maybe cut this down, I think terraforming two dice dungeon should probably also work fine. Um, but the broken thing about dimension dice is something that I, um, only noticed when I was like reviewing the, um, replay that, uh, Callum sent me with this. Uh, this is not once per turn. If you have multiple dimension dice in your hand, you can use this multiple times per turn, which gets kind of crazy. Um, Definitely will have to look into testing with this um, kind of package uh, in the future, but currently I do enjoy my Morphtronic list as I do have it. Um, rest of the deck, uh, fairly common names, uh, three Converter, three Reaper unit, and then our Braver equips, uh, choosing to play United We Stand, Life Extreme, and Wrapped in the Supreme Magic Plate. Um, a very decent combination of equip spells that uh, throws in the United We Stand for some casual goodness because it makes Braver absolutely massive. 
In terms of the extra deck, we're playing each variation of Power Tool Dragon possible. We're playing the new guy in Braver Dragon, we're playing the actual dragon in Livestream Dragon, and we're playing Power Tool Dragon and the manga equivalent in Power Tool Mecha Dragon. All four of these are easily able to be summoned, and uh, three of these will hit the board in the replay that we will see later on. Rest of the extra deck, uh, fairly standard stuff. We see a Baron de Fleur, a Ravenous Crocker Dragon Architus. Uh, just a neat level 9 to make if you want to draw some cards. A Borrow Lord Savage Dragon, a, another interesting card that isn't out in the TCG yet, uh, yet alongside those dice cards. Uh, Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. This turns a Gadget Gamer rather easily into a kind of one card. Uh, Braver Dragon, as if this is Synchro Summon, is able to revive a level 2 or lower tuner from your graveyard, which is quite powerful because you can, uh, you know, normal the gamer, grab Telephone, and um, basically be able from there to go Telephone Hauler into OG Power Tool. OG Power Tool grabs your Repair Unit, and from there you only need another Moftronic in hand to revive Telephone with the Repair Unit to go into Access Synchro Stardust. Access Synchro Stardust will revive Telephone again, and then you're able to make your Braver. Uh, Guy Armor Dragon Shell was a card I, funnily enough, also exper experimented with a bit. Has some decent equip synergy and is also able to uh, revive, uh, recycle Synchro Monsters uh, from the graveyard back into your extra deck, which is rather nice. Um, so that is something. Naturia Beast, a very common endboard piece for the stack. Garden Rose Maiden, a very good extender, honestly, uh, in bringing back something like an Excel Synchro Stardust later in the combo. And Earphone is also here as just a very good level 4 to make in case you want to go for that Naturia Beast play. Uh, rounding out the extra deck here are just an Appalosa, a Hulk, and a Link Karibo. Um, fairly casual list, uh, as previously mentioned. Um, you're most likely, you know, looking to turbo out various amounts of power to Dragon and uh, making whatever, like, flavor of generic Omni or, like, negate boss monster you can find. But all, in all honesty, these uh, dice cards, they do carry some weight, and I think we will look at that replay and uh, show you why uh, I am saying that. And here we are with a fairly unassuming opening end um, for like the, the I guess, untrained eye, but I've seen this replay and uh, I know what these cards do. And uh, starting off with the dice dungeon here to get a second dimension dice into the grip, uh, going for the converter here to stack that board on, on top of the deck and get a cell phone into rotation. Uh, using the Dimension Dice here to get cell phone off the board for a Telephone, which of course also gives us another cell phone trigger, which is incredibly powerful here. Grabbing the second Telephone, we're gonna get those two into rotation so that we can start uh, looping our link material a bit. Uh, Harker Fibrex for a remote in here, understandable. We wanna get that out of the deck as fast as possible and also to have a tuner to uh, go into our earphone with. Um, we're going to, you know, go for the Garden Rose Maiden after, you know, quickly, you know, Synchro Climbing here using the Telephone as a consistent access to tune us. Uh, making Power Tool here, adding the Repair Unit, going Telephone for a remote this time, funnily enough, because we can go Excel Synchro Stardust, revive the Telephone again. This is what I mentioned earlier. Uh, incredibly powerful play, to be honest. Uh, deciding to this time actually not uh you know um resummon the telephone of telephone because we do have that second dimension dice as previously mentioned that card is not uh once per turn if you have multiples in your grip um you can use it multiple times which is just an incredibly powerful extension tool for the deck uh, baron hits the board and we make mecha dragon funnily enough before we commit for our braver uh, equipping the guy arm drawing a card in the process triple tactic talent here uh, a bit late to the party, but better late than never, I guess. Um, grabbing scan in here, which will most likely just function as a discard for the repair unit. Making Savage Dragon here. Summoning back the smartphone. Still going to, you know, cycle for another card here. And hitting Amotronic here is rather lucky. Um, because that still turns repair unit live. So we can equip uh, that to the cell phone and summon that back. Make a Link Rebo come back. And uh, basically fill out every zone possible on the field. Um, this is a rather impressive board. Uh, don't ask for how this stands up against hand traps because it doesn't. Um, but yeah, we're looking at a three material Appalosa, a Baron de Fleur, a Power Tool Braver Dragon that is either a targeted negate or a pop since we carry that life extreme. Another Omni negate and Borrow Lord Savage Dragon, a... Basically walking IO and a Cherry of East and if our Appalosa has to be a bit smaller 
the opponent will still have to contest a Link Karibo before running over Appalosa. Very impressive combo. I'll see you guys again with the decks and give you guys some closing thoughts. Overall, as mentioned at the start of this video, we are looking at something more casual here. Um, overall, looking to, you know, turbo out any variant of Power Tool Dragon is a very cool decision to make when, uh, you know, approaching Moftronics as Power Tool Dragon is a very cool card. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a bit Captain Obvious for me to say that. Um, <laughs> But uh, overall, a very cool list, uh, definitely highlighting the uh, incredible extension power that these dice cards offer. And uh, I think if you want to cut this down to 40, maybe dropping a dungeon and uh, then, you know, just running Terra, double dungeon and three dimension dice can be rather neat. Um, and I don't know, I'm, I'm not too sold on Scannon, but I, I do know that Scannon helps a lot with enabling uh, any form of power tool dragon. Um, as you're easily able to go into Braver with, you know, the Bordens um, or, you know, into like Power Tool Dragon or its manga counterpart with your cell phone. Overall, very cool list, honestly. Um, though, like with the inclusion of Excel Song Cross Stardust, I don't know if three scannons are all that necessary. But overall, again, you know, Ho Holy Spirit or Callum. Uh, really, you know, huge thank you for sharing this list with me and letting this, uh, you know, and letting me share this on the channel. Um, really fun and casual list that I think uh, has some potential if you're just, you know, looking to throw down with the boys for a, you know, chill e evening of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but with all that out of the way, let me know what you think of, you know, kind of the videos lately as uh, in in general and what do you think of this list uh, because i think this is a very very cool take on the deck and a very casual one at that and yeah with all that out of the way i'll thank you guys very much for watching see you guys again next time but until then goodbye